Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Sincerely KSO. If it's your first time to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, my honeys. We've got a requested reaction, and this is by Adam and the Ants. Stand and deliver. Never heard the song before. Will be a first time. Hope we both enjoy. Does he have an earpiece? That is where only showbiz loses. We're the dandy hyperman, and here's our invitation. Throw your safety overboard and join our insect nation. I don't understand a word that was sung in this song because it says stand and deliver and that's your money or your life that is all that i was hearing because i couldn't make sense of it i couldn't make sense of it as a, at all and did you notice that there okay so this whole the music video was set in a what would i describe not victorian like the georgian era it was yeah or the victorian one of them so it says um their outfit and their dress the ball gowns weren't as extreme as the time of uh you know queen victoria so it, it was just moderate moderate but i noticed that i saw a cd a record player when they came out of the um their means of transport what is it called? Their carriage. Yes, their carriage. They came out, the man and the woman came out of the carriage. And when she was frightened, she jumped, something jumped out of her hand, or was it the man's hand? And I could have sworn I saw a record player. Then at the banquet, I also saw that same man who was brought out of the, who, the one who ordered the hanging, had a, you know, a headphone over his like he was listening to something in music so i was like what's going on here like 
didn't they notice that? Oh, I'm sure they did, but it's part of um, poking fun. That's the unrealistic nature of what was going on. They were also including certain elements that of course could not have existed at that time. At least I don't think they existed. And I don't think, no, it, did, it didn't exist. There was no way those elements existed, but I was so caught up in the whole music video, the appearance, he had paint, white paint on his face. He didn't look bad at all. Never heard this song. So let's go into the lyrics. Um, it says, stand and deliver. I, I think I'm guessing, I believe it's a British era song because the accent is different and the whole picture, the buildings didn't look like anything that I, I've seen outside um, when I traveled to London and I've never been to Ireland, but I would love to be there. That whole forest and greenery landscape, I I think, I believe is British. And um, what else? What else did I want to say? Or is in Europe? What else do I want to say? His voice, yes, like I said, I was about to say his voice gives up that vibe that I also like with the ABC. It just has that, I, I call it the aristocratic. It has this echoey feel to it. Almost like I'm not really singing to you, but I'm talking to you. So if you understand, you understand. It says, stand and deliver. I am the dandy highway man who you're scared to mention. I spend my cash on looking flash and grabbing your attention. The devil to take your stereo and record collection the way you look. You qualify for next year's old age, old age pension. Now that's a read. It says stand and deliver your money or your life. Try and use the mirror, no bullet or a knife. I don't understand what that means. Try and use a mirror, no bullet or an, a knife. That means I don't have to kill you. Your appearance, your looks will kill you or your looks will take you out, right? I'm a dandy highwayman, so sick of easy fashion. The clumsy boots, peekaboo roots, and people think that think so dashing. That's so what's the point of robbery when nothing wor is worth taking? <laughs> What's the point of robbery when you have nothing worth taking? It's kind of tough to tell a scruff the big mistake he's making. So he's addressing physical appearance and lack of taste. They don't have good taste in a, in fashion. Stand and deliver your money or your life. Try and use a mirror, no bullet uh, or a knife. Oh, and even if you fool your soul, your conscience will be mine. All mine. We're the dandy highwaymen, so tired of excuses, of deep meaning philosophies, where only showbiz loses. We're the dandy highwaymen, and here's our invitation. Throw your safety overboard and join our insect nation. St <laughs> says stand and deliver your money or your life try and use a mirror no bullet or a knife and even though you fool your soul your conscience will be mine all mine and what was they saying qua qua da diddly qua qua da diddly what is that that can't be a word what is, is that like they just put something together and wanted to fill up that space is because i know like a lot of times i've heard in the movie sometimes we were diddly squat and that means nonsense or something oh hush up that means be quiet you know little quirky sentences or statements or words that at the end mean something but they don't mean anything in the english language because it's not in the dictionary so let me know what that qua qua diddly qua qua is supposed to mean or it's just to fill in the chorus as well stand and deliver the, your money or your life so i don't know why this song it's just a fun song to me and it's also poking fun at people who feel Maybe um, fun at, you know, having this overconfident belief in your appearance and in your taste. And at the end of the day, you're not the ish. You know what I mean? Like when you feel like, oh my God, I've, 
I've pissed this close together. I've pissed this, pieced this top with this skirt and I look like the bomb. And someone's like, no, not really, you're not. That's what I think. They're just poking fun at um, pride or arrogance or overconfident people. I think, I think. But let me know in the comment section how you interpret the song. All right, subscribe to my channel. Please click the notification bell. If you've got any requests, use the link in the description part of your, my reaction videos. Head over to my website. I look forward to hearing from you and I hope you did enjoy this reaction. <laughs> let me know your take on it, please. Let me know your take on it. And if there are any other songs that you've done that you feel is amazing, let me know as well. But requests, please go to my website. And your girl sincerely cares so. Please consider being a patron to my channel if you haven't done so already. On to the next song.